Hello and welcome to module three. Now in this module, you're going to be completing this app. Now, as you can see, it is a huge jump from the war card game, but you know what? You are ready for it. Now by finishing this project, you're going to be gaining the following new skills. You're going to learn how to properly structure your project using a proven design pattern so that your code is easy to maintain and debug. You're going to learn how to do animations and play sound files. You're going to learn how to incorporate timers into your app and also how to use grid based layouts for your views. In addition to that, you're going to learn a critical communication pattern to handle user events generated from your user interface. Now, this is a common stumbling block for many beginners, but it's so crucial to know because all of the user interface elements in UIKit communicate this way. So I'm going to make sure that I explain it really well and I want to make sure that you understand it as well. Now moving along, you're also going to learn how to display alerts to the user and you're going to learn how to fix and debug your own code when it comes to using the Xcode debugging tools. And finally, you're going to be learning how to create and use custom classes, which is going to open up a whole new world of possibilities. And in addition to learning all of these new skills, you're also going to be reinforcing the skills that you've learned in the last two modules. Things such as displaying images, handling user interaction, and also laying out your user elements so that they work on all screen sizes and orientations. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but by completing this project, you're going to have another app to add to your pool of experience so that when it comes time to build your own app, you have these experiences to draw from. Now I'm super excited for this module. I hope you're excited as well. I know you're going to love it. All right. I'll see you in the next lesson.